Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to complete a promise with resolve and reject. A promise has three states, pending, fulfilled, and rejected. The promise you created in the last challenge is forever stuck in the pending state because you did not add a way to complete the promise. The resolve and reject parameters given to the promise argument are used to do this. Resolve is used when you want your promise to succeed. Reject is used when you want it to fail. These are methods that take an argument as seen below. So, const my promise is equal to a new promise, resolve reject, and when inside of the function, if condition here, we want to resolve. So, if whatever happens out that you're trying to create a promise based around, we resolve with promise has been fulfilled, else we reject with promise has was rejected. The example above uses strings for arguments of these functions, but it can really be anything. Um, Often it might be an object that you would want would use data from to put on your website or elsewhere. So if someone said, um, "Wait, if the person's uh, data was right, resolve with their an object containing their data." Else, re respond with a HTML page that said that they logged in incorrectly or something like that. So we make a pro uh, make the promise handle success and failure. If response from server is true, call the resolve method to successfully complete the promise. Pass resolve a string with the value we got your data. If res if response from server is false, response from server f is false. We don't actually have to write that in there because it's the else statement. Use reject method instead and pass in the string data not received. So here we want to say well let's start at the top represents a response from the server, let response from server. If response from server, then we want to uh, resolve with a string with the data. We got the data. Now make sure you spell this um, exactly the way it's supposed to over here. Um, otherwise, we want to, if the response from server is false, we could say if response from server here else, else is basically like saying false because Boolean values are either true or false. Um, then we want to um, reject and we want to say data not received and that should give us the answer. Let's run the tests and they pass. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.